Hey guys, Drifter here. Welcome to Modern Warfare 3 In-Depth, Episode 3. Today I'm going over the Scorpion Submachine Pistol. The Scorpion Machine Pistol is available at level 36, and just a little bit of fair and honest history about this weapon, this review might be somewhat biased because the Scorpion has been my favorite weapon in every Call of Duty game that it's been featured in, which thus far has only been Call of Duty 4 and Call of Duty Black Ops. In Call of Duty 4, this weapon did 70 to 20 damage, pretty good rate of fire, and little to no recoil. In Call of Duty Black Ops, this weapon did 50 to 20 damage with very little recoil and a few other negative attributes. In Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, it does 30 to 20 damage, pretty decent rate of fire, and the recoil is significantly higher than it ever has been before. It seems like the Scorpion is getting progressively nerfed from game to game. I'd hate to see it in Modern Warfare 4. In that game, it'll probably do 10 to 20 damage and kick like the Uzi in Black Ops. The 30 to 20 damage is definitely on the low end of machine pistols in Modern Warfare 3. That's going to make it a 4 to 5 shot kill at any range, or theoretically if two of those shots were headshots and you were close range, it could be a 3 shot kill weapon. It fires at 857 rounds per minute, which is the slowest of all machine pistols. The damage drop range on the Scorpion's actually pretty good. It's just barely, barely less than that of the MP9, which means that the Scorpion's damage drop range does once again compete with most submachine guns and assault rifles. The Scorpion's magazine size is a little bit low at 20 rounds per magazine, or 30 rounds per magazine if you use extended mags. The Scorpion's reload time, factoring in the animation cancel or add time, is 1.77 seconds. This is pretty middle of the pack for machine pistols. Its raise and drop times are also middle of the pack at 0.66 and 0.42 seconds respectively. As I mentioned earlier, the Scorpion in Modern Warfare 3 does unfortunately have very high recoil when aiming down sights. It's not as bad as the FMG9 or G18, but it's very easily outclassed by the very low recoil on the MP9. The Scorpion does, interestingly, have a zero recoil hip fire box. That means when you're spraying from the hip or akimbo, the box will not drag upwards, left, right, or in any direction. This makes it a very accurate hip fire weapon. I'm going to recommend against using any sort of holographic or red dot sights. Unfortunately, the Scorpion's recoil is so heavy that like the FMG9, these sights really don't help the weapon in any way. In the case of the holographic sight, the bulkiness of the sight can actually block your view of the target even more and make this weapon even more difficult to use as opposed to having no attachments. The silencer is one of a few acceptable attachments for the Scorpion. The Scorpion's iron sights are a little bit bulky, a little bit difficult to use, and the muzzle flash without a silencer can make them incredibly difficult to use. The silencer gets rid of that muzzle flash and makes your iron sights much more usable. Also, because the Scorpion has very long range, but very high recoil, the range at which you're going to be using the Scorpion won't be significantly affected by the addition of a silencer. Extended mags is another acceptable attachment. If you plan on aiming down sights or using this at long range, I would say the extended mags aren't going to help you because of the muzzle flash and the recoil. However, if you plan on just using hip fire and spraying your enemy to death, the extended mags will give you an additional amount of spray time. Even though I'm known for being the dual scorpion guy in Call of Duty Black Ops and I have an affinity for dual wielding weapons, I can tell you with absolutely no bias that the best attachment on the scorpion and truly the only logical attachment for this weapon is akimbo. The scorpion is outclassed by every other machine pistol in every way in terms of damage, rate of fire, range, reload, raise time, everything else there is a better machine pistol. However, the Scorpion has no recoil on its hip fire box. Its hip fire box sits perfectly still. It doesn't drag up, it doesn't drag to the side, it doesn't wobble around or anything. The FMG9, G18s, MP9, they all have higher rates of fire damage per second, so when you use them akimbo, at close range, yes, you will be able to kill people faster. However, the Akimbo Scorpion has no recoil on its box, so you're able to aim the weapon much, much more accurately close range and at a distance. I believe that this increased accuracy will result in more kills and faster kills because you'll be able to get all of your bullets on target without having to worry about the recoil on the hip fire box. The Akimbo Scorpions best complement any class with Steady Aim Pro. Steady Aim Pro is going to make your Scorpions about 40% more accurate because typically in Call of Duty's past that's how much it's tightened up the hip fire box. I don't know exactly how much it does in Modern Warfare 3 but I would assume that it would be similar and if you have Pro you can fire them faster after running. So any class with Steady Aim Pro this is probably going to be your secondary of choice if it's a close range class. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Next episode, I'm going to be doing the G18s and finishing out the machine pistols. Then I'll put a big compare and contrast episode together for Machinima Respawn. Next up, I'm either looking into pistols or assault rifles. Let me know what you guys want. 
Drifter out.